Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we are going to talk about real life Pinterest boards, otherwise known as old school vision boards, dream boards, a place where you put like your goals, your hopes for your life. This whole process has changed a lot for me over the years. It really started becoming a focus for me when I was in a voluntary sales force and we were encouraged, trained and coached on always setting goals, manifesting what we wanted, that we had the power to create and design our life exactly how we envisioned it. And I believed and bought into all of that. And truth be told, some of those teachings were really helpful. For example, it is a really good idea to write down your goals and track them. You will be shocked how much more you can accomplish and the things that you can do within work, within your family, giving, serving others, when you have something on paper that tells you how to get there. Now, where this got a little dangerous and not helpful is that I'm a Christian and I started becoming too self-reliant and believing that I could do anything on my own. Listen, I love instilling confidence, encouraging others, and I think it's great to be at a place where you feel like you know what your talents and skills are and what you're being called to do and, and going and doing it. But when we get to this place where we convince ourselves that we are an island and we are this isolated being and everything we ever want or need can be put out into the universe and it's gonna come back to us and we can rely on ourselves and only ourselves to make this amazing, incredible lifestyle, oh boy. That all comes crashing down for a lot of us when we face something traumatic or really difficult. For me, that thing was losing my dad and it was kind of unexpected and he was pretty young and it was the hardest thing that I've ever been through. And all of a sudden, all these teachings that I'd read and been trained on for years about, well, you can control your life, you can you can make uh, things exactly how you picture them. It all just fell apart because I was broken. It didn't matter how hard I tried to stay positive or keep up with routines. Grief was a lot bigger than me at that point. And no one had ever taught me in any of those uh, upbeat trainings how to face and deal with grief. I had to go back to knowing the, the real truth, the truth that stems from my faith that I've had for most of my life. And that's a, no, I can't rely on myself. I have to rely on the creator of the universe. I have to ask for help from friends and family. I can't just will something into existence. I can't turn off this grief or this circumstance that easily. It was really grief that humbled me and brought me back to a more grounded place than I was when I was in that industry and also helped me reconnect with my relationship with Jesus and with community and see how wonderful it is when you do share your hopes, your dreams, your goals, your visions for your life, but you also surrender. Yes, you still control what you can. You still write down little action steps you can take. I still use a planner every day with to-do lists and focuses for the week and the month and the year. I love all that stuff and I think it's fine to use those tools. Man, I feel a lot of freedom. I feel like the pressure is off. I get to share with the creator of the whole world what I hope, dream, want, and I get to pray about it and be in conversation with him about it. But I also get this element of surprise and I get this element of grace and forgiveness when I don't hit those milestones and I don't have these big rankings or achievements or accolades. So I still dream. I still um, focus on things that I already feel like I have in my life that I'm grateful for, but I also try to put down things that I hope come to be in the future. But there's this beautiful acceptance that if they don't come to be, then it wasn't what was best for me, even if it felt like it was. There's a Bible verse that I think about a lot where we're told, I have plans to prosper and not to harm you. 
it doesn't always feel like that if we're being honest. Sometimes it feels like we are being targeted for harm. I know that. I can empathize with that. But I do also trust that overall, in the bigger picture of things, not just in our short blip of a life, but in the eternal overview of our life and everyone's lives that are connected to us and connected to God, that it does all make sense. It does all work out for the best in the end. There is a reason, there's a plan, and it's something to be excited about and thankful for. I like this first board that I did because I put a lot of things on it that I felt like are already in my life that I feel really, really grateful for. Um, I put my little KitchenAid mixer because I love to bake, some gardening tools, herbs, and chicken. And then I also put a um, mortar and pestle and I put this because I'm getting more and more into herbalism all the time and I'm actually teaching a class for our homeschool group really soon that I'm looking forward to. A little vintage kitchen with a cake on the counter. I loved doing this. This felt like a brain dump in the best way. I did put one thing on this board that I'm hoping for in the future, and that's a little garden house. I did this local garden tour, and all my favorite houses had a little garden shed, and I just like the idea of utilizing the outdoor space we have. I just want to encourage you to put some stuff down on paper and really see what comes out. It can be some, it can be all things you're grateful for. It can be all things you hope come to pass. When I tried to hold all my hope and strength in here and place it on myself, place my bets on myself, I really found that it worked for a while, but it knocked the breath out of me when it counted most. When I redirect those feelings, I find the, the peace that surpasses all understanding. I'd love to hear what type of things you do for goal setting and vision casting, if anything, and how you feel about it. If you're a Christian too, how do you kind of make sense of it and feel about it? Comment and let me know. I'd love to have a conversation and I'll see you in the next one.